Happy Knitters. Hello. <laughs> Welcome back to our channel. It is episode number 37. My name is Yolanda. I'm Jordan. And we live right outside of Dallas, Texas, just for the next <coughs> five five or six months because we're moving um so i want to welcome all you returning viewers and some of the new viewers who have come aboard thank you guys for giving us a little bit of your time we definitely appreciate it it is december 31st, 31st new year's eve and we want to come on before the end of the year to talk about some things that i have received in the mail a couple of things that i have been working on and just in general to say thank you guys for supporting us in 2019 and making it a successful year, successful <sighs> year for us. Really, one, Jordan? One minute. In. <laughs> really? <laughs> anyway, things, some things never change. If you guys have been with us for a long time, you know Jordan and his antics. Right, Jordan? Mm -hmm. So anyway... Um, let's go ahead and get started in the podcast. Um, I've got a lot of things that I want to cover um, for this episode. Um, you, so we'll start with what we always do: our uh, subscription um, boxes, knit crate. knit crate, and the Yarnable subscription. So yeah. I am an ambassador for Hypnotic Yarns Yarnable subscription. I am actually a active participant in that. I actually subscribe to it as well. And I wanted you guys to see what we got for the month of December. It came in this, it always comes in these cute little boxes. Yarnable. Yarnable. And this month came in this woven drawstring um, cloth. And it is, Jordan, you want to show this to them? Why not? Yes. It is their Here We Come a Wassailing um, colorway. Look at it. It's a beautiful Christmas colorway and it is gorgeous. Cheryl does excellent work when it comes to um, her dye choices. I am always utterly impressed and happy when I get my subscription. And also with this month's subscription, we got some washi tape, which is um, has is Christmas themed. I don't know if you guys can see that. We also got some Ghirardelli hot chocolate mix, which I know Jordan's going to be all over that. Right, Jordan? And we got some soy melts, which is in the uh, scent winter berry. Can't, let me see. There we go. And it is from the Happy Wax Company. And I can tell it's going to be wonderful. It's 60 plus hours of burn time. So I do have one of those uh, candles that will melt these. So I'm excited about the little warmers. So I'm excited about that. So I'm telling you, the way that she curates her, her subscriptions, you are always going to get more than just a skein of yarn you're going to get things that are paired with it that make it just a wonderful mm -hmm. package all together and i have yet to be disappointed so if you guys are interested in joining her yarnable subscription it's only open certain times of the year give me that you're distracting folks it's only open certain times of the year but i want you to go ahead and sign up for the email this is just so that she can email you when the opening when when her subscriptions open and at that time you can decide if you want to subscribe or not um, generally speaking her membership start at $26.99 a month and like I said I will have the link below in the description box for you guys to sign up to be notified of when her subscriptions open and for your first subscription if you use the code happy H-A-P-P-E-E, -E, which will be up here at the top. You'll get $5 off your first month Yarnable subscription. Okay? And I do okay. receive a small commission on those if you guys decide to uh, join her, um, her subscription. But like I said, you won't be disappointed because I never am. And I actually am a subscriber to her. Um, Nick Ray. No, yeah, not Nick Crate. Not Yarnables. Nick Crate. Yarnable. Okay? So, speaking of knit crate jordan that was a great segue let's go ahead and let's show you what i received for december, december. 
<clears throat> we're in a different location today if you guys haven't already saw guessed that or saw that um my we're back yeah my craft room is literally a hot mess um i'm packing up some things you know we're getting ready to move uh hopefully in april or may so right now is definitely not the time to be podcasting up there so with that being said let's see what we got for december jordan you want to show those and give them a um so this is i'm going to show you the catalog for december and that's a cute scarf she's wearing with the little fur pom-pom on the end so anyway it is what do we have jordan yeah. mm -mm. Not the, not. <laughs> that colorway is mistletoe it's called chill out and it is on a dk weight yarn 48% merino, 32% cotton, and 20% baby alpaca, and it's 274 yards. So it's kind of a, the camera's blowing it out a little bit, but it is really kind of a green, a green and white um, colorway. But I also love all of Knit Crate's. Uh, and there are two. There are two. They gave you two. And then they also gave us this cute little black and white um, logo pen. move your hand here we go let's see there we go so we can always use pins especially if you are a pinner on all of your bags etc so that was one subscription and that was the, on the Vitalana line and then I have another subscription from Knit Crate and this is ooh la la on the Uru. Uru yarn and it is their scoot their scoot sock and that is their colorway garland which is Christmas it's a bean. deep green which is nice definitely a good, a good Christmas colorway and it is 70% extra fine merino 20% baby alpaca and 10% oh. nylon and it's 400 yard fingering weight so that's that's real nice Definitely a Christmas colorway. And then they give you these cute little uh, leather, uh, I guess, tags that you can put on your hats once you make them. Oops. There we go. You can just sew them on. I've seen these. I think they're cute um, as well. So, that is the Knit Crate subscription. And I am also an ambassador for that particular uh, subscription uh, as well so if you are interested right Jordan right in <laughs> purchasing the knit crate subscription you will also receive 20% off of your first order if you are a new member by using the code happy 20 which will be where Jordan at the top of the screen at the top of the screen their subscriptions start out at $24.99 a month and they're um yarn there's not another yarn their socks subscription starts at $19.99 a month so anyway you guys check um, them out as well like I said I will have the information below and I love their subscriptions as well so moving on we had what did we just finish up Jordan what was the biggest thing that we do every the December. 12 days of Christmas cow. The 12 days of Christmas cow. I want to thank everyone who participated in that cow. Um, we were late getting that one started this year. And I apologize because we have a lot going on. But then, you know, that's just the nature of our, of our life. And I'm sure yours too. But you guys came through and we had quite a few, uh, quite a few entries. And I hope you guys enjoyed... Um, checking out the winners as much as we enjoyed making the little videos to announce the winners. I can successfully say that everyone claimed their prizes and all of the prizes have been shipped out. The majority of them, except for maybe one or two because it was based on weight, most of them went priority mail, so you should receive those this week. So thank you guys again for so showing us so much love and participating in that cow. We will, of course, do it again next year. 
hopefully bigger and better than we did this year because it's my way of saying thank you guys for helping us and helping me and Jordan be a better team um, on this Happy Knits YouTube channel. Okay, so with that being said, Jordan, what is the question of the day? What is your one word you want to describe 2020 for you? So I'm stealing this from Kate of one of Kate on Instagram. She actually had this uh, prompt and I thought it was an excellent prompt because it gave me an opportunity to kind of sit down and think about what do I want my word to be for 2020 to describe what I want to to achieve. So with that being said, I picked the word perseverance and what perseverance means is the persistent in persistence in doing something despite difficulty or delay in achieving success. So last year, which is I guess is still this year, 2019, um, I had some goals that I did not accomplish, but I'm not beating myself up over. Uh, 2020 will be a difficult year in the sense that, like I said, we got a lot going on with selling this home, moving to our new home, etc. And um, that's going to be a, a different kind of transition for us. It's going to be a happy one once it's done, but it's going to be a lot of work. Because we just helped my sister move and yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a lot of work. But anyway, so I want to push through. Um, and also, with that being said, I do have another channel, which I have not been podcasting on. Posting. It's kind of it, posting on. It's kind of uh, like my vlog channel and personal channel that I started. Was it last year or two years ago? Anyway, I'm going to have all of the home updates on that channel. Um, that's going to be my personal channel. So I'm going to take you guys through... Um, through an empty house tour when the house is ready, etc. So you guys uh, go over to Happy Life, and I'll leave the information down below. And go ahead and subscribe to that channel if you want to see what's going on in our personal lives as far as the house is concerned. Um, I'm going to try to elevate that channel to kind of give you guys a little bit more uh, personal insight on what we do on a daily basis or a weekly basis, etc. It'll be kind of fun because I know you guys sometimes, I th know in the past when I first started that channel, you guys kind of like to see what was going on. So that's what that channel is going to be next year. So that's something that I'm going to start back up and hopefully engage, engage with you guys with. So I'm excited about that. That's going to be something different for us. Different. So, yeah, so you guys go over, go ahead and subscribe and just wait for the updates for the new house tour. All right. So with that being said, let's get started on what I have been working on. You guys know that I have been in a knitting fog or slump for quite some, some right. time. And I can honestly say that I am not quite out of it yet. I'm just going to be honest. Knitting has not really been on my mind as of late. Um, the last time I podcast, I um, worked on a single sock, which you guys know I knit all of my socks two at a time. And I must say that <laughs> this sock is pretty much done, except for it just needs to be bound off. Okay, so it is my uh, normal recipe of uh, toe up, and I use a US size one 2.25 millimeter needle. And I, uh, these are shorty socks. I use the Flegel. Let's see if I can get this to focus. Yeah, I use the Flegel heel, which is my favorite go-to. And I did uh, eight rows of two by two ribbing. And so literally all I have left is to uh, bind off. And these are on my, which I have not used these in a long time. I used my um, signature art needles. Let's see. Yeah, my signature art needles. I absolutely love the tip on these. I really do. Um, this is something that I bought uh, a couple of years ago to protect my needles. You just put the ends through the, the rubber tip and it protects your needles because these got bent um, and Signature Arts was nice enough to replace them uh, for me because I had only had them for a few months and as you guys know that signature uh, needles are an investment if any so I bought this cover to protect them and it has done the job um, I can't remember where I got this from 
it is in an earlier video maybe last year maybe a couple years ago if I can I'll try to find the the uh, where I got these from but I, I do I love them and if you don't have any of these and you've got some expensive needles that you guys want to uh, protect I would highly recommend them but anyway so the sock is pretty much done um, I have to do the second sock and I'm gonna be honest this is why I don't ever knit one sock at a time I am honestly not looking forward to doing this <laughs> second sock because I feel like and I know I should do I should have done them in tandem just started on two separate needles and just kind of went at the same time but I didn't do that I did them one at a time so now I have to knit I feel like when I do that I knit the same thing twice and I think that's why I know that's why anyway it'll get done because I don't want just one sock so mismatch mismatch socks so anyway so I also completed this is just a uh, green scarf it's on some acrylic yarn that I had in my stash um, it is there's no pattern to it it's just uh, knit three rows I believe and drop stitch um, a drop stitch in between or maybe even two drop stitches I don't even remember at this point but it's something that I did just to try to get my mojo working. That's a nice color on you, Jordan. <clears throat> Doesn't that look nice? I think so. So anyway, so I have one completed object. I'm going to count the other one as completed because like I said, all I have to do is bind off. So that's two objects. And for me, in my knitting slump, I think that's a pretty pretty good thing um i have not i'm not gonna even mention any whips because yeah i've only been working on these two things okay so we are fastly but surely moving on okay so then i want to talk about the special gift that i received in the mail from a viewer i don't know if she wants hold I have received a bag from her in the past. We actually did a bag swap and she had been working on some Halloween bags that she did not get a chance to get out. And so we did a bag swap. I gave her a Christmas bag and she gave me an, a Halloween bag. And guys, look Aww. at the cute little owls on this bag. And look at the detail in the, the quilting that she did and up here as, up here as well. This is, you've seen one of her bags before because I bragged about how beautiful it was and the details that she has. This one is kind of a square bag. And once again, she has put in a clear pocket. I don't even know if you guys can see that. It's a clear pocket inside the bag along with two additional pockets. And then she threw in some stitch markers and a progress keeper for me as well. Anyway, this she has such high quality bags and it may not even be showing up on camera as far as the quality of these bags, but I truly have I hope that in 2020 she takes the time to really make make bags and sell them because like I said she has great attention to detail so hopefully I'll be announcing that on my channel here next year and she will be able to you guys will be able to buy her bags okay so one of the most exciting things that I did this year was to participate in Kwanzaa this the calendar for uh, Kwanzaa and it was with two of my favorite favorite yarn dyers Mitchell's creations and chicken coop dye works so let's start with Mitchell's creation let's talk about I don't know if you guys um, celebrate Kwanzaa or not it is an African um, holiday I'm looking for hold on it is an African holiday that is celebrated right after Christmas from the 26th through January the 1st and it talks about seven principles and for me I don't believe you I don't feel that you have to be 
African American or African to celebrate Kwanzaa because I think the seven principles are something that anyone, any nationality can get behind. So I'm going to talk to you real briefly about the seven days of Kwanzaa. I cannot pronounce the African word, so I'm not going to even try. But day one is unity. It's unity of the family, community, nation, and race. Day two is self-determination, being responsible for your own conduct and behavior. Day three is collective work and responsibility, working to help each other and in the community. Day four is cooperative economics, working to build shops and businesses. Day five is purpose, remembering and restoring African American cultures, customs, and history. Day six is all about creativity, using creating, using creating and your Im imagination to make communities better. And day five is about faith, believing in people, families, leaders, teachers, and the righteousness of the African American struggle. So like I said, I think no matter what nationality you are, you can take something out of all of these seven days um, and incorporate it into your own personal life. With that being said, each one of these dyers did a Kwanzaa calendar this year, which I am truly honored and excited about to show you. So let's start with Michelle from Mitchell, I'm sorry, Tara from Mitchell's Creations. She, which I was oh. super excited about, this is the box that came to me and it had seven minis in them plus some other goodies and all of the days should be done except day seven which is tomorrow so if you guys have these calendars when i get to day seven close your ears cut the cut the the channel off and then come back in a couple of minutes because i don't want to spoil it for you but i want to show we'll it to leave you the, the time stamp for when they when day seven's over okay we'll leave the time stamp so jordan look at day one show day one and i'll show day two oh, it has a little one on it it has a little one on it so would... your face is showing uh, okay. day one day one what is day one jordan it's a mini they're all hers oh, are all minis oh, all mini. oh, mm -hmm. it's a mini principle one what's that say you, you can't read it because oh. it's just principle day one principle day one and it's what color is that is it anything special just no black. just black just black okay mm -hmm. And this one, these are all in her uh, Langyap, 75% uh, Superwash Merino, 25% <laughs> nylon, and you get uh, 92 yards with this. It's been a while. I think that's Lang 92. Yap. You get It's a 20 gram mini. So day two is brown. Brown. Okay. Brown. Now, <laughs> that's day two. Jordan, so let me find day three. Day three. Nope. Where's day three? Here is day three. Day three. You go ahead and show day three and I'll get day four ready. Day three is green. Green, that's beautiful. This is a good green. Okay, this is day four, which is gold. Cool. There's day five. Uh oh. That's okay. Day five is red. Okay. Day six is orange. Orange. Okay. Now day seven. These are the cutest little bags, I tell you. Just super cute. Day seven, Jordan. Is that day seven? Day seven. Okay, if you have not re if you have not opened day seven and you shouldn't have, <laughs> please look away right now. Here and, is day seven. And don't show the uh, don't say the color in case they're listening. Uh, Just okay. show the color. 
they said. Okay. So with that, she also included these uh, cute little tees. She this beautiful progress keeper, which is a snowflake. Do you guys see that? Do you see? Let me see. So yeah, there's tea in here, snowflakes. And she also, which my sister is going to love because uh, she has a sweet tooth and so do I. I do. She also included, Jordan would like this, a bag full of candy and chocolates in these cute little canvas bags here. Don't you even think about it. He's already trying to look. So anyway, these cute little bags. And last but <laughs> certainly not least, she included sugar fix pralines. Now Tara is from New Orleans. And those folks like know how to make pralines. However, these are from Gulfport, Mississippi, which is really next door. So thank you, Tara, for curating a beautiful package for Kwanzaa. I am definitely going to be um, buying this each year. And she also, I forgot there's one other bag. There's a, she also included um, washi tape in one of these other bags. What's washi tape? you would know because you're not a uh, crafter but you use it for you can use it for scrapbooking you can use it in your calendar oh yeah some in there yeah i have some in there and then she also included um these uh bulb stitch markers and some rings and then last but not least look at these cute little scissors hold on that she included in there as well. You pull I'm them out. I'm interested to know how it works. <laughs> I believe you do them like this. I don't want to break my nails. Oh. So anyway, I, I I love it. I think it was a beautiful um, box. Mm -hmm. So I'm excited. There you go. There you go. And I'm going to tell you something. When you get these little scissors, and these puppies look sharp. When you get these little scissors, you can never have too many scissors. Right? And these go in. You close them up. They go in like that. And it becomes safe for you to store. Safer, safer for you to store. <laughs> so anyway, thank you, Tara, again for this beautiful box i'm going to enjoy all of the minis because who can't use minis okay so with that being said i was also lucky enough to receive um a kwanzaa box from my dear friend carol from chicken coop dye works and carol this box is all dk weight yarn so let's start with hers and Carol also curated a beautiful box as well for day one you got this cute little um, wreath ornament uh, it's actually a frame that you can put your pictures in and maybe hang on the Christmas tree which I thought that was a beautiful sentiment and like I said all of her um, Kwanzaa are DK weight so the first one Jordan and tell them what that what the colorway is. It's tannin balm. Tannin balm. Tannin balm. That's for day one. Day two is, and like I said, hers were DK weight. Um, I'm not sure if you. Oh God, look at oh. that. Wow. I don't even know what to say. This one here, guys, look at that. It's kente cloth. Kente cloth is an African cloth that is traditional in African culture. And she captured the color so very well. Because Alexis had to do an uh, international day a couple, maybe two or three years ago, 
where they uh, represented the uh, country of Africa and their um, you are their costumes I wouldn't call them costumes because that's not really a costume but they represented um, Africa and they had their their uniform not uniforms their clothing out of kente cloth anyway so this is day three oh three oh my god y'all if you do not do this next year with these ladies you are truly missing out look at that now the light it's is blowing these out, out A little. but I cannot describe for you the actual colors that I am seeing right now. These are, um, she has different bases, but these are on her leg horn base. And this one is Midnight Clear. And this one is African Chicklets. I think that's how you say that. I'm not 100% sure. But uh, 400 yards fingering uh, weight. No, so I, so I take that back. These are not all DK. This one's DK. Okay, so the kente cloth was fingering. That one, the first one was DK. DK. These two are fingering. And in here also for day three, she also included I saved these for um, so these are really a surprise to me because I wanted to be surprised on the podcast. Of course, the name of her shop is Chicken Coop Dye Works. So who doesn't need chickens for oh stitch markers? Are they not the cutest? Can you guys see that? Look, chickens! <sighs> Carol, you outdid yourself. Can I say that? I want to take the box. Hmm? I want to take the box. <laughs> you want to take the box? Okay. All right, what, I forgot, what day are we on? Day four. That's three. That's three. Day four. Day four. Just tear it. Day four. And she almost, I think, ran out uh, fairly quickly when she um, first put these out there to, to sell. And you know what? I want it to be gentle. <laughs> I know, but you, you need to... Okay. All right, day four, Jordan. What's day, day four? four? It's colorway. I'm not even going to try. Let me see. <laughs> Serengeti, sunset. All right. Uh, Abru. Yeah. Abru Serengeti, Serengeti sunset. sunset. It's a deep So as you can way. see, these are all of African theme, which is gorgeous. It does look like a sunset. It does look like a sunset, doesn't it? gorgeous that was number five right Jordan yes yeah, number four no it wasn't what was it oh so I need number five Which one did you pick up? Oh, yeah. I picked up number six <laughs> <laughs> the next one oh god oh my god Jordan look at that this is heavy lace 875 yards of I can't even tell you because it's lace weight this one is called wines and roses guys look look at the vibrancy of these colors can I say that I am so impressed right now Carol, I will be all up on your um, page, your website, when it gets close to before like Christmas. This one is called, this was on her Twinkle Toes base, and it is fingering 400 yards, 75% superwash merino, 20% nylon, and this has 5% bronze Stellina. This is the Guinea Coast. Yeah, you say Guinea. Guinea. Now... Like I said, the light for some reason blows out the the lighter color ones a little bit, but um, like but it does. It looks like ice. I'm trying to see if it'll capture that. Sparkly. Oh, anyway, gorgeous. And last but certainly not least of the seven days of Kwanzaa, Gordon, you got that one. 
don't hurt yourself. Come on. These people ain't got all day to watch you unwrap. Ooh. There's another little sachet drawstring bag. I can't wait to see what's in it. Oh, that's on her. This is on her pheasant base. Oh, gosh. Royalty is a colorway. It is a deep, beautiful, purple color. Absolutely gorgeous. And with day seven, we also received... I have always wanted one of these. Oh, look, it's the little, um, um, I don't even know what you call them. They go around the, they go around your scarves. Oh, absolutely beautiful. Can you guys see that leather? This one is by Audrey Wilcox. Um, she is um, a custom jewelry maker. Um, I will leave her information down below. She will be reopening her shop soon. And just beautiful workmanship on this. If Jordan would move his head, Stop then it would. Okay. What? No, it wasn't focusing on okay. me until you said that. Anyway, look at that. So. And then also there was a bonus um, skein thrown in. It is really blown out. It's, it's called, it's on her nugget base and it's platinum. So it's kind of a, a silver color. So she put that in there as well. Gorgeous. She also, well, no, and like I said, this is, big guys, this is what you get in, a, in the Kwanzaa box. I mean, it is just beautiful. And then she also has in her box this lovely drawstring and no, it's not even drawstring it's elastic it's got elastic on it and look at this beautiful african print cloth look at it gorgeously done carol who is this sage you guys have outdone yourself I believe so you guys have outdone yourselves um with these kwanzaa mm. calendars the thought that you guys put in it between you, Tara, from Mitchell's Creations, you, it's just really thought out and I absolutely love it. And thank you guys for letting me be a part of, of presenting this to the world. Like I said, for the viewers of my channel, I feel like you do not have to celebrate Kwanzaa to be able to appreciate the beautiful workmanship that these ladies put into these yarns. You can be of any nationality to celebrate Kwanzaa. So do not think that it is just an African tradition. Like I said, I read the principles to you guys. Um, it's something I think anybody can get behind. And um, I'm passionate about it. And I want you guys to go over to their two shops um, and just check out what they do throughout the year. But especially um, start looking for these um, probably around October or just email them or get in contact with them and ask them when these are going to be coming out. You will not be disappointed. And I think that that's it, Jordan. I think. <coughs> oh, she also included a free pattern for the subscribers, too. I can't show that to you because it has a code on it. But I did want to let you guys know that. So you get a lot of things in this in this um, uh, curated bags box box bags box yeah bag so box. anyway like i said it is 2019 the last day i want to thank you guys again for showing us support and love um and for growing our channel as well it is as it has been i feel like i am coming off of my um knitting slump um gonna try to balance that with next year and all that we have going on but like I said, thank you guys for a great 2019. For those of you who have um, lost loved ones in 2019, we prayed with you, um, gave our condolences with you, and hopefully 2020 will bring you peace and closure. Um, you can never get over uh, losing a loved one, but as time goes by, you know, time heals everything. So I just wanted to shout out because I know a lot of... Uh, 
knitters that are my Instagram friends who had lost loved ones in 2019. So I just wanted to give out some love to you guys as well. Um, 2020 hopefully is going to be a really good year for you guys and for us. So I'm going to be praying on your behalf. So yeah, Jordan, anything else we want to say for 2019? This is literally our last podcast of the year. Have a nice one. Have a nice one. <laughs> okay. We'll yeah. take that. All right, guys. We will see you in 2020. Bye-bye. Bye.